We have a new female Mighty Morphin Green Ranger, folks. Yes, that's right. In the comic book, The Return, made by Amy Jo Johnson, we will see the daughter of Kimberly take on the role as Mighty Morphin Green. Let's talk about it, break it down, hit that intro, Rangers. You are watching the fan club. You're watching the fan club. And you're watching the fan club. Do you know what time it is? And you know what time it is. It's time for the fan club. Let's go. Hey! You know things ain't always sweet when you out here in these streets. But my morph will win it more. I made a fake. What's going on, everyone? We have some Power Ranger news, and it is comic book news, but that is still news, and this is pretty freaking awesome. Now, we've been telling you about this new Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the return new comic book series. First of all, this project had a $50,000 goal, and it's over $400,000. That is just ridiculous. Now, let's tell you about the news of the day, all right? We have a new new green ranger her name is olivia hart and if you go on over to amy joe johnson's x account it says introducing olivia hart green ranger designed by dan mora mmpr return written by amy joe johnson and matt hodson comic book art by nico leon for boom studios this story is a love letter to all of you and like I just said, it is shattering numbers. Like, oh my God, Power Rangers is hidden right now. That's a sign right there. And everyone is excited for this. And I know there's some people in here that are going to say this doesn't make any sense. But let me explain something to you. This is an alternate universe. This is a what if situation about what if the Power Rangers OG team of Trini, Zach, Jason, Billy, Kimberly, and Tommy, what if they never broke up? And this is what that would be like 30 years later. And Kimberly has a daughter named Olivia. She kind of has some resemblance to Tommy. And it would make sense if she has the Green Ranger powers. Her dad might be the Green Ranger. This has not been confirmed yet, but it makes a lot of sense. She has brown hair. She does look like Kim, but she's wearing green and pink. I don't know. There's a chance that this could be Tommy and Kimberly's daughter in an alternate universe. Like, what if Kimberly never went away for gymnastics, right? What if she was never going into the Olympics or whatever they called it in Power Rangers? What if she stayed with Tommy and never sent him that Dear John letter, right? This is an interesting plot story, and I think that's why the fans are so connected to this and it shows with the dollar signs fans are going all out to support this and i think one it's just because amy joe johnson is coming back into the fandom and even though it's not on camera it is still doing something for the franchise and this is pretty cool i mean if we're going to do a what if series why don't we have one of the og power rangers work on it it's a really good idea four hundred thousand dollars raised so far for this comic I've been trying to tell you guys for years, the Power Rangers Boom franchise is a super hit. Like when it comes to comics, comics are dying, but Power Rangers Boom Studios comics be making money somehow because the fans are always backing it and behind it. So shout out y'all. And I don't say this in a bad way when I say comics are dead. It's just, they don't necessarily sell like they used to, but comics are awesome i still collect comics to this day i have like 200 of them i just mean in the mainstream media everything is on our phones now and it killed a lot of things it killed newspapers like when fans can put four hundred thousand dollars on a fifty thousand dollar goal it shows comics aren't fully dead if you have the right characters and the right storytellers behind those characters. I think the crew at Boom have done an amazing job with giving these characters depth and making new stories, but also connecting them to the past. This is awesome. Olivia Hart, 
I can't wait to find out more about her. I think she looks badass with the whole female Green Ranger suit. And who knows if we could get this in the future. It's tight though, man. It looks fierce. Whose daughter is this? And there was some type of wordage before if I was reading right that it sounds like they're going to catch up with Zach, Kimberly, Billy, and Jason is going to be missing or captured or kidnapped or something like that. It sounds like Trini and Tommy have fallen. I don't know if they're 100% confirmed, but that's what it's sounding like in the storyline. I can't wait to see this, read this, hear about this. Oh man, make sure if you guys have not and you're interested, you can back this project right now. Go on over to their Kickstarter. This is freaking awesome. Let's see what happens in the future because if this is a hit, what if they do more projects like this? Like what if they have another project in the future with like David Yost or Walter Jones or Austin St. John or something? This is pretty cool. Now, what are your guys' thoughts? Let me know in the comments. Speaking of the comments, let's see what the fans are saying. Brad said, it's funny you should mention it. After reading about the canon and non-canon versions of Tommy's family throughout the franchise's history, I theorized that he and Kat would have two kids, JJ Oliver being the oldest and a girl being the youngest. It's nice to see that Amy Jo had similar thoughts in a way, and I wish her the best. She wasn't just the OG Pink Ranger. She was the most powerful Pink by heart, by character, and by soul. Yo, that was deep, man. I liked that. And I liked how you said you had the idea with uh, Tommy and Kat, but this is an alternate universe. And I like that, how they have a daughter, name her Olivia, but does Tommy die like early on? Like, why doesn't she have the Oliver last name? Like, I wonder what in the heck happened. There has to be some type of storyline there, right? Samurai Spirited said, if this is going to be based on Jenna Frank as the new Greed Ranger in the comic book, who's going to be the new Yellow Ranger replacing Trini? You know what? I don't know. And when you look at the pictures, do you think that this is a resemblance of Jenna? Because it kind of is. There is some resemblance to her. I cannot lie. I wonder if they come out and say that's who they base the character off of. That is pretty interesting. Um, I could see them saying it. I could see them saying, no, we just came up with that on our own, but kind of made him look like JDF. And obviously that's JDF's daughter. So of course, if no matter what, it's going to be a resemblance in some type of way. There's a few people in the comments saying that he had a son, but that was in the regular storyline. You guys have to remember, this is an alternate universe comic that is a what-if situation, and I can appreciate that. What are your guys' thoughts? Let us know in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching and taking the time out of your day to check out this content. You are the real MVPs and the reason why we can do this. We will see you next time. Peace. I want to give a special shout out to the Gold Ranger members, Anime King Nick, Chaos Draco, The Arctic Operator, Miguel Ortiz, Let's Talk Sports, Papleon Oger, Roderick Ham, Louis Cairns, Salima Ramirez, Danny Nascimento, Stephen Heffelman, Thomas Franco, and Sean Schiffer. Thank you guys again for your support. And if you want a video shout out like this one, sign up to be a Gold Ranger member today. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this content, you know what to do. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell. You can also become a member. Please join the fan club support team right now. We have a Blue Ranger power up and a Gold Ranger power up. This is an awesome way to talk with the fans. Join a fan club official chat group. You can also be featured in our videos. At the end of the videos, I will shout you out. That's if you get the Gold Ranger power up membership. Go check it out. Go support the fan club. We love you guys. And thanks for watching. Peace. Hi. Hi. We're Bulk and Skull. Skull. We, we have been, been requested, requested by, by the, the fan club, club to say 
something funny.